my camera's on a tripod, like a little handheld tripod, and I just pinched myself, and it hurts so bad. Oh. Um, but, hi, welcome back. I, again, don't know how I'm going to put these clips in. I feel like I'm just going to combine all of them because, oh my god, it hurts. It wants to bleed. <laughs> it wants to bleed. It hurts so bad. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to just like combine all of these clips together. That's what I'm thinking. Um, just to make it easier. Because I don't have that much. Because I'm just kind of giving you weekly updates right now. Until I pick up my camera more. I don't know. I'm still really bad about it. Because I'm still not used to it. But, um... I'm officially like seven. Oh my god, you scared me. You scared me. You were making noises. Um, I am seven weeks. Again, according to my apps, because I don't know. Um, I turned seven weeks yesterday. So I'm going to have my appointment in a week, and I'm so excited. Um, I still need to call them to see if Connor can come in. I don't think that he can because of freaking COVID, just ruining everybody's lives, um, which really sucks, but, um, I've joined a couple of, I've joined a couple of Facebook groups, um, and somebody brought that up, like, the fact that her husband wasn't able to go to any of the appointments, and a lot of the women suggested that <clears throat> they go to, like, a private ultrasound, so there is one here in Henderson and it randomly came up like on my uh, like it was like a sponsored post or something and I was like oh let me look into this and the packages really weren't all that expensive um so I told Connor like if you're not able to go like we can always do that but I, I, would, I would I would I would obviously want to wait until like I'm 20 25 weeks that way the baby's more developed um, and so he's like, okay, that'll be okay, because that way I can see my baby too. Um, but I, I'm, I really don't think he's not going to be able to come in. But, um, I think last week, or the last little clip I had was when I was, how oh, I just pooped, <laughs> was when I, um, was whispering about me like spotting. I really think, okay, so it stopped. <clears throat> it stopped after like a day and a half. And I think it's because we had sexy time. So it's old Connor. We're not having sexy time for a little bit because that scared me and I want to make sure everything's like okay first. And of course he's disappointed because whatever. He's a, he's a man. But I was just like, I wasn't going to tell him at first and then he has suggested sexy time, and I was like, no, you made me bleed. And I was, he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I was bleeding for the, for the past two days, like, spotting, and it freaking scared me. So, no, we're not having sexy time. And, yeah, he's having, he's upset about that. But I told him that last week. It's been a fucking week. <laughs> like, deal with it, dude. Um, but, yeah, so that's good. Um, I got a pregnancy pillow because I kind of wanted to start getting adjusted to sleeping with a pregnancy pillow, but, um, either I'm going through, like, a sleep, like, regression, is that the word, sleep regression, um, or the pillow just made me not want to sleep, but I really think that it's just because, like, I can't freaking sleep right now, I hate it, um, because, <clears throat> like, last night I woke up at like three and well Hoppo was crying because she's a little bitch but um yeah I'm adjusting really quick oh my god my freaking finger hurts Ugh. hurts I know the lighting isn't all that great up here okay I'm gonna move you over here <clears throat> I don't have any work to do so my manager said to take a break get a snack and rest so I think that means that I probably won't have anything else to do today which is nice <laughs> um oh my god um I forget
forget what I was talking about. Oh, me not being able to sleep. Um, I woke up at like 3 o'clock last night and then Hoppa was cry Hoppa's been crying like every single day. Um, which is ridiculous. I don't know why she's freaking crying in her crate. So I was up for a while because of her. Um, but again, I don't know if my pregnancy pillow had anything to do with it. I don't think so. I just think that I just, I can't freaking sleep. But I got a C-shaped pillow. My bedroom's a mess. Well, my bed's a mess because I don't feel like making it. But it's there. That's what it looks like. I got it from Amazon. It was like 40 bucks. Um, like, it is comfortable, but I'm just having a hard time sleeping. Whatever. Um, I still don't... I don't want to speak too soon, but, like, I still don't have nausea. Like, yesterday I was a little nauseous. Like, just a little bit. But not enough to, like, get sick. And honestly... I'm getting my drink. And honestly, like... I felt best after, like, eating. Like, eating was helping my stomach, like, feel good. So, I don't know. Um, I don't have any food cravings or aversions or anything like that. Um, which is nice. My boobs are still really tender. It's more just, like, the nip. The nip is, like, whenever I brush them, I'm just like, ooh, okay. Um, and they feel, they feel heavier. If that makes sense. Like, if you feel your boobs a lot, especially, like, if you're, like, checking for, like, lumps and stuff, like, I touch my boobs all the time. Like, they're not as squishy. They're a little bit more firm. And, again, like, they feel, they feel denser, if that makes sense. Um, other than that, I don't have any symptoms, which could be a blessing. Um... But I also am nervous about the appointment next week. Like, I'm just hoping that the baby's developing and, like, growing on trend. Um, because, again, like, I joined these Facebook groups and a lot of the, like, and I know that there's so, and it's, like, such a small percentage, but... There's so many, like, women that have, like, missed miscarriages. Like, they go in thinking that they're 10 weeks, but their baby's measuring 6, and there's no heartbeat. So the last thing I want is that to happen. Like, I'm terrified of that happening. And I shouldn't be because I haven't experienced it yet, but I also do know that it's a possibility. So, like, I'm kind of scared. So, I'm just hoping, I'm going to... We're going to have to pray that morning because I'm almost like super nervous. But I ended up telling my boss because my appointment's at 1245. So it's going to take me like 20, 25 minutes to get there. I want to get there 15 minutes before my appointment. So um, I basically have to take a half day. And so I told my manager. I don't know why my hair looks like that. Um, so I told my manager, I was like, hey, I need a half day. And then I wasn't going to tell her I was going to basically wait. Um. But I was like, she's busy, so let me just tell her now. And she was super, super happy, super excited. She said that once I find out the gender to tell her because she knits a lot, then she wants to knit me something, which I think is so sweet. Um, and she asked me, she was like, I know I shouldn't be asking you this, but do you plan on coming back to work? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I just, I wouldn't be able to just be a stay-at-home mom. Like, it's, I, I would be too bored. I generally, I genuinely would. Um, so I'm going to try though. I'm going to try to watch the baby while work, especially like if we're slow, I feel like it should be possible, but we'll see. Um, but like if I'm due at the end of August, I'll be on, I'll be on leave for six weeks. I'm going to save up my PTO and that's going to be another three weeks. So I'll be gone for like nine weeks, which is not a lot. It's not a lot. But um, by the time I think I get back, then it's going to be November. So I'm going to have Veterans Day. I don't think we, I don't know if we have Veterans Day. I think we might. I don't know. Uh, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and then basically all the holidays. So that'll be helpful because, because I work for like a bank technically. We get half days on the eves. So Especially, like, December and, like, early January, there's a lot of time off, like, paid anyway. So, 
hopefully I should be able to do it. And it should be a slow season by the time I get back from like from maternity leave or FMLA, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I should be okay for a little bit longer with the baby here. Um, I started to make a registry because just so I don't forget the things, but like, again, that closet in there is completely full. Um, we're going this weekend to get a gun safe because the room that we're going to use for the nursery is just filled with guns and all of that stuff. My husband's a big shooter. Um, so we obviously need to be safe and get a safe. So I told him, I was like, we need to do that so we can clean out that room and like clean it down in case there's any freaking like gunpowder or anything anywhere. And I know that there's probably not, but I still want to be safe. It smells like metal in there, so it needs to be cleaned out. Um, and then I want to start building the furniture because we have a crib. Um, I have a bassinet. Uh, I have a high chair. Um, I have a bunch of stuff. But I need to get it out of there, and I need to take inventory of what I have and what I still need. Um, but I did start making a registry of things that I know I don't have yet, like a pack and play. Um, and my friend Christina recommended one, like she uses it for her baby. She can disassemble it in like one arm, so like that's the one I want to get. It's expensive, but like I don't really have that many big ticket items that like anybody has to pay for. Like we have a stroller and car seat. Um, because I got it at an auction because my friend Christina watches like the the Nellis auction site So when she saw it, that's the shoulder that she has. I'm basically trusting her opinion um, So I basically got it and it was like 150 bucks. It was originally like 300 320 so yeah, um basically have everything but I need to freaking see what I need still I got a couple of baby books I got what to expect when you're expecting, but like that's really basically what is going on with your body like each month. So I'm just going to start reading that from like every month that I'm in. Um, I read up to the third month and technically I'm in my second still, so I'm just going to wait. Um, I got this other book um, called uh, The Contented Little Baby Book. Um, and this one seems pretty good because it like maps out like when you bring the baby home like what you need to do before the baby gets home week one to two and what you're gonna need um for like I don't know so I need to read this and then I also have what to expect during the first year and like a nurture book I don't know I'm not a big reader so it's really hard <laughs> it's really hard to sit down and like want to read a book um so, I mean, this one only has, like, 300 pages, I think. I don't know. But that's basically all I got going on right now. That's all I got to report on. But, yeah. Um, I have been taking bump pictures. I literally just look fat. <laughs> And I haven't changed, so that's good. Um, I've been weighing myself like just once a week. I've gained like maybe half a pound since last week, which isn't bad. Um, I have been eating frequently, like more frequently now. Um, so maybe that's a trip, because I don't think you're supposed to be gaining weight right now in your first trimester. Um, but then again, a lot of women lose weight because they're sick or they have food aversion so they don't want to eat. And I don't have that issue. <laughs> I do not have that issue at all. I read in um, What to Expect When You're Expecting. Some women don't experience it because of the amount of time that they've taken like prenatals. And I've been taking prenatals for like shit a year and a half now. So maybe that has something to do with it. But I also don't get nauseous like ever. Um, I think I'm a pretty like subtle person across the board. Don't ha I still don't have any mood swings. I mean, I did have like a episode a couple days ago. Like I just got like mad <laughs> for no reason. Well, mostly because like my husband just can't make a decision like on the fly and that pisses me off sometimes. Um, 
And I was just kind of like kind of in a pissy mood ever since then, or for the rest of that night. But other than that, like, not. Oh, my doctor's calling me. Hi, this is Amanda. Well, that sucks. Like, I really was hoping that it was, like, not a robotic person. Um, and it was, like, the front office. I think her name's Wendy. Because that way I could have asked her if my husband can come. Because I don't want to call. <laughs> I'm a millennial. I don't want to do that. But I am pretty sure that I saw a freaking sign that said, just the patient. So, okay. That's going to be all for this. Um little update. Uh, I'm going to go let Hoppa in because she's still outside, even though she probably would stay outside for ages. But I'll see you next week for my eight week. Update. Hello. Welcome back. I don't, again, don't know how I'm going to do this. So hi, I am eight weeks now. Oh, Hoppa was just walking down the stairs. I thought she was growling. Um, so I am eight weeks and one day according to my app, but I am waiting for Connor to pick me up to go to our first doctor's appointment. And I'm praying everything goes fine because I've joined a couple of Facebook groups and honestly, some of them kind of terrify me because I, they're like girls, I saw one today where someone was like, well, I went in for my first week appointment. I'm nine weeks, but I only measured eight weeks and three days and there wasn't a heartbeat. So like, I'm fucking terrified, but I'm also really excited. I'm praying everything goes well. Um, and I am going to bring my camera to hopefully record it. If not, I'm going to have Connor just like record it on his phone because he can actually come with me for the confirmation of pregnancy, which is awesome because, um, because of COVID, it was kind of like, I don't know, my OB, like when I went last month for my appointment said that it was only for like patients like nobody else can come into the waiting room or anything like that so I was nervous that he wasn't going to be able to but I called on Tuesday and the receptionist said that he could so we're good and he's here so I gotta go is that the heartbeat? It is. There it is. So you can. So usually we don't get a heart rate when we can see right. it beating clearly. Yep. Right. So because it takes us takes more radiation. Yeah. So we say like, well, if we're concerned about it and it doesn't look like it's beating, then we'll go ahead and do that. But in the in this instance, there's no reason to. The heart's beating strong. We're not concerned about it. So I'm gonna look around just a little bit. Yeah, they all look like gummy bears right now. Yeah, yeah little raspberries. So yeah, you can kind of see, like, they all have big heads, too, and that's normal. <laughs> you can kind of see a big head here. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't put that on me, babe. Right, heart beating right here. These are arm buds. Yep. Well, like, it looks like a gummy bear right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just me moving around trying to get the best, best picture. We're getting a lot from your bladder. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's, so there's your bladder here, still kind of full. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're getting like some shadowing from that. Interesting. Thought I let it all out. Ah, <laughs> uh, you never let it all out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there's our full gummy bear. And then you take measurements, yeah? Yep, that's what I'm doing now. So I usually want to get a couple of different measurements. But yeah, that's heart, heart's beating beautifully. Got no awesome. questions about that. This awesome. is our yolk sac, kind of like a chicken egg. The okay. baby eats off of that in the beginning okay. before the placenta forms. And then once the placenta gets going, then that yolk sac goes away. Yay. Interesting. Yeah, 
heart is beating. It is indeed. Baby's wiggling a little bit too. <laughs> Which obviously the baby's too small to say this part is normal or that part's normal. Right. But if you can move your head and your bum separately, then clearly the nervous system works from the top to the bottom. Interesting. Okay, good. You guys did not get a BOGO. There's just one in here. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was All like, right. I don't know. I feel like I'm eating a lot. Maybe there's two in there. <laughs> no, just one. Just one. One hungry one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Course. Can we just look around and make sure we're not look at the ovaries and make sure we're not missing anything there? So you might feel a little bit of pressure. Alright my friend, things look as they should. Awesome.